Tulsa police say they need your help to solve and prevent crimes. It's one reason TPD and the Crime Prevention Network are hitting the streets together. Joe Hinky shows us their efforts to build a relationship in one part of town. Vicente Ruiz is reaching out to Tulsa's Hispanic community in their language and on their streets. Trying to get a Hispanic community to participate on reporting any type of crimes that they see and try to teach them to not to be afraid or making any phone calls or making any report. As the Tulsa Police Department battles rising crime, Ruiz and the Crime Prevention Network were out today talking with people after mass at St. Francis Xavier Catholic Church. Well, that's why I'm doing it. They broke into my place too four times and nobody's done anything. Ruiz says nobody is doing anything because many of the Hispanics on these streets just look away when a crime happens. People are afraid to make a phone call. They think they're going to be arrested. They think they're going to be questioned. And that's why they're afraid of making any phone calls. Because officers can't be everywhere, the police department relies on citizens to get involved and report crimes. A police officer is just one stitch in the blanket. If we can get 30 stitches or 50 stitches or whatever in that blanket, it better covers the whole neighborhood. And for officers, being out today is their way of showing the community they are here to help. And the Crime Prevention Network is attempting to make what they call alert or well-connected neighborhoods and limit here on the streets what they see as preventable crimes. Major assaults are something that we can't, we can't do as a neighborhood. But to all those other crimes, the property crimes, we can really get, we can really make an impact and have made an impact in other neighborhoods. That hope of making an impact out here keeps Ruiz motivated. We know that they see it, they just don't report it. And that's what we need to do, get all the neighbors to report any type of crime that is in the streets. In Tulsa, Joe Anke, 2 News Works for you.